Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Hubian channel. I am going to be reviewing a new keyboard that I bought recently and I am going to talk about that in my video today. So let's get started! Today I am reviewing the Roland FP90X. It is a beautiful white keyboard 88 weighted keys this keyboard comes in two different colors black and white i chose a white and the stand is sold separately we will go over what the buttons are uh, talking about in a second here. I really like that the music stand, it's plastic but looks like glass. So this is the music stand, so very beautiful. This is where the speakers are. And concert piano, we have different sounds. That's concert piano. If I press the plus button, it becomes stage grand. Sounds a little bit different. Concert ballad. There are 20 different sounds you can choose from piano, number one. Concert mellow. Concert bright. Sounds a little bit more bright. Concert brilliance. Stage mellow. Stage bright. Upright piano. Mellow upright. Bright upright. Can hear different sounds. Rock piano. It sounds a little bit more like rock and roll. Ragtime piano. Bright forte. S.A. Piano. Ooh, I like the sound of that one. J.D. Piano. Nice. 70s E. Electric. Grand. Magical Piano. I wonder how this one sounds like. So magical. Harpsichord. And last but not least, we have another harpsy. Let me go back one and compare the sounds. That's number 19 harpsichord, number 20. Sounds more open. And there are uh, there are other selections. Each 
should have about 20 as well. Electric piano should have 20 different options. Let's try this one. Sounds a little bit different, right? Or much different. So there's so many to choose from. As you can see, there are 18 different sounds on the electric piano. Whoa. <laughs> so let's go to the organ. Let's see how many different sounds of organs we have. Light organ, pipe organ, church organ, accordion. Ooh. 18 different sounds from the organ. String pad. If you click on the plus, you can change. There should be about 18 or 20 different string pad sounds. Oh, there's more than 20. 27 of strings. That's a lot. And last but not least, we have synth. Very futuristic sound. Let's see how many we have for the synth. Okay, so it seems like there are um, over 20 synth sounds. Whoa, there's a lot. Music box. Curious to see how this sounds like. Music box. I think music box will sound nice when it's on the higher end of the keyboard. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of, there's a lot to choose from, from the synth and other different sounds like we have over 80 sounds so far so just combine together every it's over over 200 different sounds so far so there is endless there is more than wow there's 279 synth sounds 279 so number five if you click on number five and just go uh, ahead and press the plus and the minus you can change the different sounds that's an explosion sound wow so we have learned that there are different so many different sounds we can choose from uh, so there's just so many so many selections the dual split button is when you um, want half to sound something and half to sound another. So if I click on the split duo, I can click on piano, but uh, it will sound like a different instrument from this note. So everything below will sound like a regular piano. From here, from G, this is G, from G. It will sound like a different sound.
So now I have changed that. So I don't like the second sound, so I think I can hold it and change. That's really interesting. I will demonstrate the split duo in a little bit. So here I have a dual split sound. Piano on the left, strings on my right. could hear a different sound. Let's talk about transposing. Transposing is to um, play the same melody, but in a different key. So if I were to do this without using any, uh, you know, buttons, it's a little bit like cheating. But if I press the transpose button, then I can just stay in one spot and just play the same thing and just play, uh, use a different um um, I could just press the transpose button and change it. But if I don't use the transpose button, I will give you an example of what it is. So let's say I'm playing something like this. If I want to transpose it, I have to move. Right, I have to move. But if I use the transpose button, I don't need to move. And to do that, I just click transpose, hold it, and use one of these plus and minus signs. If I click on the minus, the sound will become lower. If I click on the plus sign, it gets higher and higher, right? You can see, you can, you can hear that it's higher, right? You can hear that it's lower, but I'm just playing the same thing that I have been playing. That's only if I have this transpose button on. So that's what it does. So the retail price for this keyboard is $24.99, so about $2,500 uh, with just the keyboard itself and plus tax. If you want to buy it as a bundle with the um, stand and uh, with the chair and uh, the keyboard, it will probably be about $2,800 plus tax. So you are looking to spend anywhere between $2,500 to $3,000. Um, I bought it as a bundle, so I just wanted everything white. I wanted my the stand to be white as well, so um, I actually ordered this back uh, five months ago, and it hasn't arrived yet because it was on a back order. I luck luckily I found another um, I, uh, the same keyboard I wanted. Uh, on another website and I went ahead and purchased it there um, but if you are interested in purchasing this one then um, <laughs> don't be surprised if you have to wait a long time overall I feel like uh, it's a good investment for me since I am 
working with music uh, every single day. So it's a really good investment for me. I went from like a $400 keyboard uh, to uh, this one. So it's a quite of a big upgrade for me. The difference in the sound is completely different. You can just tell that the sound is very warm right when you play it. So for some people who don't like the warm tone, maybe this keyboard is not for you but I like more of the warm tone in a piano, so in a keyboard. So that's what I got from this. So this is, I believe this is the newest edition of the Roland family and the FP um, family. So um, yeah, I, I don't regret it. I rate it five out of five, five stars and I, um, I'm very happy with uh, my purchase. Thank you for always watching. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will be reading them. And if you have any requests, let me know in the comments as well. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. I'll be back next week for another video. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week. Bye.